So college graduation may be the last great opportunity for parents out there to guide their young adults toward a long, healthy life. In today's Healthy Living, Dr. Bill Lloyd joins me uh, with some advice on how we should do that. He's a graduate of life, I guess. <laughs> All right. It's been a long time since I've worn one of these. Oh, <laughs> but it looks so good on you. So the first lesson that uh, parents need to, I guess, reconvey to their youngins is uh, be safe. In what way? Yeah, how before they switch this tassel, yeah. par parents need to tell their students to be safe. Be safe in all that they do, and that includes responsible driving. Be sure to wear your seatbelts, wear <laughs> helmets when you skateboard or when you're skiing, and in 2011, have the discussion about sexually transmitted diseases. Frederica, you're not going to make it to 80 if you don't make it to 30. <laughs> Good point. Okay, and then you say you need to reiterate the lesson about tobacco and smokers and I guess being in a smoky you're environment. Right. No tobacco in your life, and don't share your life with anybody else who uses tobacco. In addition to all the tobacco-related diseases, and we know the risks of lung cancer, there's serious risks for asthma and other respiratory conditions that may involve your children in the future as well. And don't forget the dangers of secondhand smoke. So again, don't let anybody move in if they're puffing on a cigarette. Okay, and then you, you want to... I guess warn them about, we used to call it like the freshman 10 or freshman 20, that uh, you got to worry about your weight or at least be conscientious of it, what you're eating and how you're exercising. Certainly. You know, it's far easier to keep yourself from gaining the weight than try to lose it 20 years later. So educating your children about that good combination between restricting the amount of calories you eat and burning those calories with daily exercise matters in determining whether or not you're going to have problems like diabetes or high blood pressure or elevated cholesterol later in life. And Frederica, remember, as you gain weight, there's more wear and tear on your joints, which will limit your ability for physical activity and even sexual activity. So you think about the future as you're getting off that graduation podium. And then there's the conversation that a parent needs to have to their kids about alcohol. This is kind of good luck, you know. It's going to be a tough conversation uh, in which to have if they're heading off to college. What are your suggestions on this? Well, of course, you know, the best education is leadership by example. Your children are going to follow what you do, but you have to emphasize to your kids about restricting the amount of alcohol because of the lifelong changes and damage that can happen to many organs of your body. The devastating consequences that can occur with a DUI conviction as well. Then there's always the problem of increased accidents and trauma that come with alcohol. And don't forget the changes that could affect your lives, your relationships, and your career if you drink too much. So keep it all in moderation. If you want to drink, have a little red wine. Okay, and usually mom and dad are reminding their kids about the kind of checkups, medical checkups they need to get. And you go off to college, you completely forget about that. What kind of discussions need to take place? Sure, you know, a lot of kids graduate from college and think they get this 30-year window where they don't have to worry about seeing doctors, but they need to have regular checkups depending on what their family history and their own individual risks are. Things like screening for elevated blood pressure or elevated cholesterol. Women, of course, have to have their annual health exam as well. And then as they get older, they need to be aware. And, Frederica, you know, many college graduates are now older than 21 <laughs> as they get past 40 about their annual checks, colonoscopy, and mammography as well and once again parents leadership by example and uh, dr. Bill Lloyd I got to see that hat one more time the cat my mortarboard oh yes. it's, it's right here uh, we've graduated here. three collegians and I paid far too many tuition checks <laughs> to remember <laughs> oh fantastic I'm hearing the sound of pomp and circumstance right now it's we're ready to go there we go all right congratulations you're off into the real world now <laughs> dr. Bill Lloyd we'll talk to you again soon. <laughs> thanks so much Thank and you. congrats to all the grads out there